Ooh-wee, check this out. All right, we got six level six DC audio. Uh, it's not gonna be a single layer. Trust me, it's not gonna be a single layer. But hey, I wanted to do a couple uh, like little tips. Uh, check it out. All right, a lot of times when we get the designs, it's supposed to be 27 inches tall, right? But then you have a three layer top and then you have a two layer bottom. All right, all material isn't exactly three quarters of an inch unless using uh, MDF, which flexes like no other. So uh, MDF is completely out of the picture. All right, that's just nothing that I will ever use on purpose. Um, but if you're losing a 16th, and I have a triple baffle, all right, so I'm losing a 16th, 16th, 16th. On the bottom, I'm losing another 16th plus another 16th. All right, that is five 16ths. That is over a quarter inch. All right, that's a lot of material. I mean, that's actually quite a bit of a distance. So uh, I have to think 10 steps ahead. Even when I am cutting this piece from there to here, I already know that I'm losing a quarter of an inch. Two here, that's two sixteenths. Two over there is another two sixteenths. So I'm actually making this almost a quarter inch bigger, you know, so that way it actually makes the 40 inches uh, depth. And it was very important that I make the 40 inch depth for all the subs to be able to fit. Now, if all the subs, and if I did follow the directions exactly to spec, I would have major problems with getting any of the subs in. So I had to think 10 steps ahead of where it's gonna be. Like right now, I cut all this out. I didn't wanna route three layers deep for all these subs. I'll do it for one or two subs, but I will not do it for six, all right? Uh, the bits are pretty expensive. Anyways, so um, I just wanted to just run, do a rundown on them. I mean, like uh, when you're losing a 16th, you're losing a 16th here, uh, yeah, let me see here. See right here? I have barely anything right here. I'm supposed to have a 16th out bumped out so that way it'll be able to sink down. Same thing on this side. Now I'm gonna have to be able to level it out. That's why I round out all my pockets for my baskets to sit in. So that way we don't have any type of issues with any of the subs sitting in there flush. But you gotta think 10 steps ahead. Um, I also do all the kerfing, all the kerfing for the carpet uh, prior to assembling. Um, there is gonna be uh, a, a couple uh, notches that, see, if, it, if the panels weren't as big as they are, I would run it and I would already have everything rounded off. But because of uh, the big panels and everything, um, I don't wanna run it through my table saw. My table saw has a router with a round over bit on it. Um, rounding it over and everything. I want it to be perfectly even. I'd much rather do that with the router. But um, I just wanted to give you guys all a heads up that you know what, you can look at a design and it doesn't matter who you get your design from, they generally don't compensate for the 16th of an inch that's lost. All the material comes 11 16ths, not three quarters, unless you're going MDF, which you don't want to use MDF. Uh, I'm sorry, I don't want to break anyone's hearts, but I mean, I'm serious. You don't want to use MBF. Uh, 13 ply Baltic Birch. Uh, this one's actually not getting any curfing whatsoever. So this is entirely made out of Baltic Birch, 13 ply Baltic Birch. And it's heavy, extremely heavy. Uh, matter of fact, uh, I'm gonna have to get the wife and two children out here so all four of us can be able to lift this thing around for me to even be able to carpet it. But I just want to give you guys all a heads up about the little details uh, that could really ruin your build if you don't think ahead. Down with sound difference, baby. Yeah.